Hello, hello beautiful family. Welcome into my channel, The Rare Gazelle. My name is Reem. Welcome into this collective message uh, that came through in Libra's reading a few days ago. Um, and I felt the need to say the born with a veil in Libra's reading. And then there was another message that layered on top of that one. And it was with these two cards that I uh, saw the inner eternal child magician <laughs> that was flowing through right here, the portal that has opened in your intuition. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, this feels more like a practical energy, even though this is extremely cosmic. This is pure source energy. This is a pure source frequency. Um, even though this is very cosmic and energetic and very esoteric, there's something very practical about this energy that's coming through. I feel like because we're merging the practical and the spiritual world, it's like two worlds combining them into one. And I truly feel like they're one and the same. Um, and I believe that everybody, regardless if you're born with a veil, born with the amniotic sac still intact when you were born the, with empathetic empath ability psychic ability supernatural gifts i believe spirit is alluding to the fact that everyone is born with these gifts and there is a spectrum of supernatural talent and supernatural gifts that we haven't even begun to understand like we talk about you know being empath we talk about healers we talk about psychic abilities and mediumship but i'm getting this like there is so much more that we did not even tap into there is a spectrum of supernatural gifts that people have that we haven't even begun to understand um and they manifest in these people in various ways and in different forms that when we perceive them it doesn't look like a supernatural gift but in fact it is a supernatural gift so i that's been weighing really heavy on my mind and i don't know why i'm talking about this now i don't even know if it's related or not i have no idea but i've been feeling i've been feeling like that in the collective and so I've been looking at a lot of people in my life very differently, <laughs> like I'm just very curious about, you know, their supernatural gifts and the way that it manifests in their life, the way that it manifests in, in their energy is, um, is different. So, um, anyways, I want to look at the energy that the inner eternal child is bringing through. What energies is your inner eternal child bringing through? Okay, as it is being rebirthed through the portal of your intuition right now. So let's see. Thank you, Spirit of the Most High. Thank you to my great grandmother, Nyla. Thank you, Goddess Anona Ishtar. Thank you to my ancestors, known and unknown, and Spirit of the Most High. All right. Well, doesn't this look like a birth canal? Time to replenish. This is the empty well. Time to replenish. Okay, I gotta talk about this. Hold on. Um... So the inner eternal child is bringing through an energy of replenishment to your intuition, replenishing the intuition, making it softer, making your intuition softer. You see this presence right here. This is, this to me is your intuition right here. All of this is your intuition to me. Okay. See how hardened it is. This like stone like presence of intuition feels like a stone feels like a hardened intuition why is it hard i'm not sure i'm getting the word disconnect 
because it's been disconnected. There's like this disconnect between the inner eternal child. It's been disconnected from the source. It's been disconnected from the well. It's been disconnected from water. It's been disconnected from that emotionality, from that energy. And so the more that you disconnect, the harder the intuition gets. It becomes hardened. Okay? But I feel like because we're going through all these shifts and changes and transformations, we are bridging this gap. And we're getting closer to the inner eternal child, so to speak. Does that make sense? So I feel like the one of the energies that the inner eternal child, that your inner eternal child is bringing through, is the energy of replenishment. Replenishing the intuition. Making the intuition softer. Okay? I feel like the inner... No, I feel like the intuition has been working in a certain capacity. Like it has a its own like management system kind of thing. Like it, it carries a certain capacity load. Um, it's been working in a certain way. It works in a certain direction. It works in um, in like one fractal of reality because that's its only capacity. That's the only uh, load that it can carry because it's it's hardened um, or it was hardened. Um, it can only reach a certain dimension or interdimension or multi-dimension um, because of its hardened energies okay now that it is being replenished by the inner eternal child okay it's becoming softer a softer intuition meaning a more adaptable intuition meaning a more flexible intuition an intuition that can grow, an intuition that can be vast, an intuition that can work in many different fractals of reality, an intuition that can reach multi dimensions and multi interdimensions. Does that make sense? So I'm getting that the intuition is growing, um, it is reaching a new height. Okay, it is reaching um, and breaking through a threshold because it feels as if like imagine yourself at the bottom of this well. Okay, and you're looking up. And so the energy of your inner eternal child right now is filling up this well. Okay, so so to speak, it's like filling up your intuition, replenishing your intuition, and it's bringing you up all the way up, 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 up to the surface and you're going to reach that threshold and you're going to break free. Okay, does that make sense? I'm also getting the energy of smooth messaging. You're gonna be a smooth messenger. Oh my God, I'm hearing Sade. Oh, he's a smooth operator. Smooth operator. I'm getting smooth messenger because the intuition is getting softer. So it's interesting that that message is coming through because I was saying that to my friend and I was saying that to Russ and Rob too where like I get messages and I don't know what the messages are. They are difficult. They're, it's almost like you're receiving an email and it's encrypted. It's encrypted and you have to decode it. You have to decode it. It's like a riddle. So the messages that you're going to be receiving after the replenishment from your inner eternal child you're gonna feel the messages coming in are smooth they are easier to decrypt they're easier to understand and then the way you articulate them is also going to be smoother it's gonna make sense you see what i'm saying so you're becoming a smooth messenger that's really cool. I like that. I'm definitely in need of that. <laughs> I would love that shift to happen for me. Oh, wow. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. Um, 
even like signs i'm getting the message of signs and synchronicities like sometimes like we will get signs that make no sense and you're just like how does this how does this fit in what are you saying what does this mean signs are going to be cl like crisp clear clear messaging systems are online okay smooth messenger a softer intuition okay all right that's a beautiful message thank you you know what um let's get one more from here and then we'll get into the tarot okay whoa Um, hold on a second. <laughs> I feel guided to read something. Sorry. Hold on. The spiritual narcolepsy. I need to read that. It's fallen angel. Falling angel. Falling. Falling unconscious and spiritual narcolepsy. Okay. Let's read this. You are being cautioned now to not fall asleep or go unconscious. You have been flying above the strife and suffering of the world in angelic bliss. However, you risk being seduced by the beauty and comfort of your situation and losing track of your aspirations, your wings. As you fall, you pick up speed heading toward the trees below. And look what came out, the wailing tree. What is going on? So let me hold it like that. Okay, let me read that again. As you fall, you pick up speed heading toward the trees below and a possible nasty landing. Remember that all you need to do, all you need, do, oh, they have a typo there. Remember all that you need to do is to stop being a falling angel and spread your wings to halt your descent and then find an upraft again. And this is the upraft. Remember how I was talking about that in the well? How the inner eternal child, imagine yourself at the bottom of the well and you're feeling yourself going up, up, up again through the threshold. What? Do not be seduced by the fallen angels. Your supposed friends and companions who are ready to use you for their pleasure and have only their own interests in mind. As you soar once more in flight, receive the gift of the falling angel as an invitation to study the forest from above the trees. In other words, to analyze your situation from a higher perspective without being entangled in its thorny branches. Once you have understood what needs to be done, head back to your lofty heights and stand by for the right moment. Action you take now may backfire. Stay conscious and wait until you are guided to change. You will know when the time is right. And then you have your spirit of the river movement towards adventure. There's that movement. There's that momentum. There is that action to move when the time is right. But right now, the time is for what? To repair the body, mind, and spirit. And that is why the inner child is here because you have here replenish and repair twice. Repair and replenish okay and this the, the softening of the intuition it's interesting because this card says reconciliations so some of you um I feel like, because this one was alluding to people, 
kind of like taking you for granted. To use you for their pleasure and have only their own interests in mind. And like this reconciliations, you see this, this is a wailing tree. Like this reconciliation doesn't feel like a happy reconciliation. So I feel like this is a warning that not all reconciliations are meant to be reconciled. Um, is Mercury going back in retrograde or something? Like, I feel Mercury here. Hmm, that's interesting. It almost feels like a warning from your inner child. Because your inner child has experienced this before. The misuse. The friends. The companions who ended up just using you or abusing you. And that is a lesson that the inner child has learned. And so that is a lesson. That is what your inner child is trying to warn you about right now. It's about people. People using you. Maybe someone is using your gifts or trying to be your friend because you have your gifts or trying to just reconcile with you to get something out of you. And you're not meant to entertain that energy is something that I'm getting here. Um, it's interesting because I'm just going to use like something for an example here um, and just take it if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. But, um, you know, I had this like person on my Instagram and like my Instagram is only for my friends and family and I don't tell a lot of people that I have my YouTube channel. Like I don't promote my YouTube channel on my Instagram. There's, you know, some coworkers that know, some friends that know. Um, some family not know but not all family and um, you know there was one person that actually reconciled with me this is funny this is coming up this person reconciled with me and they only wanted to get a reading out of me and I knew um, and I said I don't feel guided to do a reading with you like or for you like I, I, I apologize and Like, they had nothing else to say to me or ask me, like, how I'm doing. Like, you know what I mean? And it was just, um, it just didn't feel right. So, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's something there with that. Just your inner child is warning you because your inner child has gone through that before. Um, so, just be weary of that energy. Like, are you actually reconciling with me? Because out of your own heart and love towards me or are you reconciling to gain something out of this to take something from me or just for your own interests and not have my interests in mind um so that's a warning okay this is a warning that is interesting okay um at the bottom of that is clarity and recognition and then repairing the veil oh my god this is one of my favorite cards repairing the veil you do have here deep quiet but the only reason i want to go to this card is the fact that you have here one 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 meditation and stillness okay you have here repairing the veil this is 45 which is nine um this talks about forgiveness okay so like regardless if like I feel like forgiveness is a really, um, this keeps coming up a lot because you cannot have peace without forgiveness. And then I also said in my live that I did not keep up um, when I unboxed uh, this gorgeous deck that I love and that I connect with the spirit of the shamans. Um, do not mistake peace with quiet. Do not mistake peace with, with quiet, okay? That's another message that's coming through here. As soon as I see this card, that's all that I 
that's all that I feel, it's all that I see. Um, okay, so there's a warning here. Clarity and organization, the tidy house. And then you have here the spirit of the river movement towards adventure. Okay, I'm gonna get into this repair the veil is um like super cosmic. I'm not really sure how to explain it, but um it feels like Oh, wow. You have a lot of energies that's like that. Replenish, repairing the mind, body, and spirit. And then you have here repairing the veil. Wow, there's a lot of... Um, there are a lot of reconciliations. But they're not with other people. And I feel like that's the clarity that you're going to get. It's like the reconciliations are not outside of you. They're the veil within you. They're the veil... You're repairing the veil between you and your inner child. Do not fall into spiritual narcolepsy. Do not fall asleep now. Your inner child is saying, do not fall asleep now. What you are repairing the veil for, you're repairing the veil between you and your inner child. And that is why this portal in the intuition, in your intuition, has opened. So that your inner eternal child can flow through with these healing energies. And this intuition that is softening. For smooth messages. For clarity. And for movement towards adventure. For your spirit to flow. And for the spirit of your eternal child to flow fluidly through you oh my god that is beautiful um i'm also getting because there is a card in rumi is it rumi sufi no sufi sufi has a card of imagination your imagination is also becoming softer the inner eternal child is softening your imagination which means it's like broadening your your imagination making your imagination more vast larger than life reaching different fractals of reality and dimensions and you are able to pull from the well of your imaginations you're going because this is replenished your, your intuition is replenished, now your intuition is softer, your imagination is softer. You're going to be able to pull from this well, pull from the well. And what are you pulling? Your capabilities, your gifts, your strength. You're pulling energies out. This is, you're drawing from this well of capabilities. You're drawing from the well of imagination. That's beautiful. You know what's so crazy? Is that this uh, this card is literally underneath the well. The empty well. Remember how I talked about the inner eternal child is, is filling up, replenishing this well. And you are like just imagine yourself rising on the water that is being replenished. And the water is moving you up, up, and up. And pass the threshold. See that? Look at you. Look at your spirit. Look at your spirit in the river. Look at your spirit of the inner eternal child rising. Look at the portal of your intuition. Oh my god, there's so many, there's so many depths here. Like I can literally look at this and say, this is the spirit of your inner eternal child flowing through the portal of your intuition. That is now replenished and soft and smooth. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. 
I love that. That might even be a meditation. That might even be a meditation. Meditate that you are at the bottom of the swell. Okay? And then just imagine that the, that the well is filling up with water. And then feel yourself rise up to the surface, crossing that threshold. That could be a meditation. Okay, let's see what else comes through. So we talked about that warning. What is actually being reconciled? What are you actually repairing here? We talked about that. We talked about the intuition that is softening, the smooth messaging. And then now we talked about your imagination that's getting softer. Okay. What else is getting softer? What else is happening? Play. Your play is getting softer. Do you want to play? You want to play. If you're the mother of wands, the snake protecting the eggs. What else is getting softer here? What other, oh my God, there's the sun. There's the sun. There's the sun. It's that masculine energy. And it's interesting because I said, there's something about the inner eternal child that is like rebirthing here, that is flowing through this portal in your intuition. And it's like somehow tied to the masculine energy. And here you have the sun, the world, reminds me of the well. Look at that, it literally looks like the well. Now, whenever I see this, I'm going to see a oh, well. Um, I'm seeing layers of um, snake skin. I just got a door of your design. One. I'm seeing the sun as a door. And it's of your design. Oh, there's a door in the tidy house. You're going through the door of your design into clarity. But what is this door? A door of your design. I keep seeing, I keep hearing it. A door of your design. Thank you. Yeah, Daughter of Wands, there's the owl. Senses. There's a swan. I'm getting a door, a door of your design. Hold on. Why are you showing me a door of your design? A door of your design. Okay, you're weaving that. You're creating that. This is your heightened senses. <sighs> There's something about these eggs. What are these eggs? It feels like, um, I 
like seeds, like eggs, uh, new beginnings, something new that you're forming and creating. Oh, there are eggs that have been repaired. Mm. It's an egg that has been repaired. It's an egg that has been repaired. The star, yeah, it's an egg that has been healed. Um, okay, so uh, because there's so much of this um, replenishment, repairing, repairing the veil, and then a door of your design, but there's something about these eggs, and as soon as I'm like tapping into this energy of the eggs, I'm seeing that these eggs have been healed, these eggs have been repaired, and so they are heavily protected right now so they don't break again so they don't get harmed or they that they're not in harm's way it's almost like i'm seeing i don't know if it's like the eggs are like the inner child or something like that like what this is strange hold on a second give me a smooth message <laughs> Now they're closing me up. <coughs> Give me a smooth message. And that I keep hearing it. Repair, repairing the eggs. The eggs have been repaired. Repairing the eggs. It feels like, um, cause I did see, yeah, here it is like lost in space, needing direction. It feels like even direction has been repaired. Things that have been lost will be returned. The eggs have been repaired. Um, dreams have been repaired. Goals have been repaired. Wishes have been repaired. It's just this inner eternal child is bringing in this, this massive healing energy that is flowing through the portal of your intuition, that is flowing through you all aspects of yourself not just your intuition now i'm seeing and it's repairing eggs like repairing wishes dreams things that you are wanting and needing to create and to birth for yourself are being repaired if you feel lost, like direction is being repaired. If you have a broken compass, the compass is being repaired. Like there are just so many things that are being repaired here. And that's the sun. Again, the sun is clarity, the tidy house. It's almost like the sun is this, is this light, this life force, yes, but it's also like this massive light source to expose to expose the true identity of like people because i looked at that reconciliations card you can see the sun look at the sun on the tree okay hold on bear with me The sun is exposing, the sun is exposing people, people that don't have true intentions for you, people that are coming in that are saying, I want to reconcile. They're not really there to reconcile. So you're going to see the clarity. Some of them may even be really close to you, a tidy house. Some of you might even be in, in your house or close to your home or people close to your heart. So there's a lot of people that are going to be exposed. A lot of people are going to be exposed 
for their true identity, for who they really are. You're even going to see the broken eggs, the broken eggshells, or the eggs that are rotten, or the eggs that are just not... Um, hmm. So I'm looking at my space and I'm seeing like the sun is shining and coming in and it's just like lighting up every corner, lighting up everything. It's just casting the largest light. There's a really big light here that is being casted so that you can see the identity of those energies for what they really are. The authenticity and the truth of those energies are going to be revealed to you. And for the eggs that are broken or rotten or however it may be, those eggs are going to be repaired. This is healing. And this is also healing. And this inner eternal child that is being rebirthed is also bringing forward the healer frequency, the healer energy of what? Of this life force of pure source. I really hope I'm explaining that right because that is just that's just what I'm seeing. Does this make sense? Um, that's why there's so much replenishment, repair. These eggs are being repaired. Everything, everything is just being repaired right now. And then you have here the world. And I, when I see the world card, I just see layers and layers and layers upon layers like more layers than what are being shown here in this card i'm seeing layers of um snake skin but i'm seeing dead skin it's kind of a gross image i just got i'm seeing dead skin i don't know why i don't know if this is dead energy dead energies of the world are going to be burnished and then they're going to be replenished with new energies so mm, Mm -mm. these reconciliations these people that may try to come back into your life to say hey i want to reconcile i want to do this they're not coming with the purest of intentions that's a dead energy that's a dead energy this even came up in leo's a few times actually and you do have here the sun leo energy The dead energies, they're going to be burnished, I mean, meaning like they're going to be transmuted. They're going to be shifted. They're going to transform into something else. Something else is going to exist in its place. Okay? Just like seeing the dead skin, just like seeing this, the snake shedding its skin. Okay, something new is going to exist in its place. And that's why there is this placement right here. What is that placement? What is that going to hold? It's going to hold a repaired egg. It's perfect. Look at this. Do you see that? The shape of it? You can literally place an egg right there in the center of this. It's going to hold a repaired egg. It's going to hold meaning like a repaired dream, a repaired wish a repaired goal, a repaired energy of yours. And it's going to come into fruition in your next cycle. I'm going to get one more. We're going to close this off. Spider. Oh, whoa. <laughs> um okay look at the spider it actually came out with the it fell two you have two spiders creation manifestation weaving a new web it's interesting because <sighs> i'm getting like i'm getting a weird message Anyways, look at Scorpio. Hold on, just let, let me let me simmer in that energy for a little bit. Look at look at Scorpion and Vulture. 
see i'm telling you this the the dead energies are here but they're being purified okay dead energies that have bruised you dead energies that have hurt you stung you okay even if they linger this vulture spirit the sun they're being purified okay i just wanted to clarify that energy because i saw that immediately but there's some kind of depth of this whale it's interesting because i did this i don't know why there's massive libra energy here like libra's messages have been so collective and then all of a sudden i'm seeing this whale and it's bringing me all the way back to a reading i did for libra titled it's not luck it's all the years that you've spent in the depth this egg that is being repaired that is coming into fruition that is being created is not luck it is all the years that you have spent in depth that you have spent in the empty well at the bottom of that empty well oh okay hold on you're also diving deeper into a new task is something that i'm seeing here another message is coming through with the whale spirit diving into something new diving into something new into a new depth into a new depth there's something here that is calling you it's a task okay it's something more it's something more oh my god this is only brown energy this is crazy i don't know again like go watch go watch some of libra's it's collective like the last one was definitely collective um i'll post the one that i did a while ago it's not luck it's all the years that you've spent in the depth i'm getting two realities here this is one reality this is another one something about a new reality coming in a new reality coming in this reality here has been exhausted you've exhausted all of the resources you've done all of the tasks you've done everything that you needed to be doing in this reality it's time to go deeper there's a new reality here being created there's a new reality here coming in you co-created both and you can create deeper you can create more there's something about creating intricately i'm getting um something a card from the akashic tarot something about uh building or industry and intricacies or something like that I'm getting, um, oh my God, there was a message I did with the emperor and the empress. I didn't do a reading on it though. I wanted to, I just never got around to it or felt guided to, I suppose. But it, this is about building and birthing and then birthing and building, birthing and building, building and birthing constantly, so on and so forth. It's a cycle. Right now we're birthing, birthing the inner eternal child. And then we're going to be building with that energy that flows through. I'm telling you, this energy is practical. It is practical. It is not just esoteric. It's not just spiritual gifts. It's not just that. It is practical. Learning how to go deeper in this energy and use it practically to create something more this inner eternal child is birthing or rebirthing and it feels as if it's like taking a new form the energy of the inner eternal child is taking a new form the energies 
the energies of your inner eternal child that's coming through right now, taking a new form. It's going to manifest in different and newer ways. Ways that you did not expect. That kind of goes back to what I was talking about when I was saying that some people, they have spiritual abilities that we may not even think are spiritual abilities because they don't manifest like they're supernatural abilities, but they are supernatural abilities. It just looks like, it's just, it's very different because they use it practically. There's something about that here I'm also, I have to address this because it's like at the back of my mind and I'm like, I don't want to address this. But some of you, this is a false reality and this is a new reality. I don't know why that's coming up now. It, it was in the back of my mind, but I'm just like, I don't know how to tie this in here. It feels like another, another like subset of this energy that may be in the back, maybe in the back, maybe a mask that we just need to shed light on. Maybe this is this reconciliation. Maybe these, thank you. These are the people. The people that want to reconcile. They want to reconcile and they want to bring in the old reality. But you're moving towards the new one. This is where the spiritual narcolepsy is. This is where the, so to speak, sleeping is. That's why spirits like don't fall asleep now the inner eternal child is saying don't fall asleep now go deeper keep going so the people that want to reconcile these people in your life they're in this they're in this other reality they're here but you're moving there do you see what i mean So even though this may not necessarily be a false reality, it is a, it is, it's a fractal of reality, but you need to decide which one do you want to partake in, right? You have to decide where the repaired egg where the repaired egg will be birthed. Can it be birthed here? Maybe, maybe not. Can it be birthed here? Most likely. I really hope I'm making sense. <gasps> I'm really trying to bring this in a practical way. So I hope I am explaining things in a practical way. Um, I, d I don't know why I feel like I just, I can keep going. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe we'll get one more. I don't know. I'll go until I feel like I can't go anymore. Um, of course, like the sea serpent has to come out. <laughs> uh, with the cup under the sea. The sea serpent. Hey. Hey. That's the spirit, the spirit of the river, the spirit of the serpent, the spirit of the river. But that's that completion and renewal energy. I mean, there is, well, I mean, we've been talking about the snake, the shedding, um, the dead energies. And here you have the sea serpent just confirming that. You have here the camel. Oh, all that you have retained. Everything that you have retained, everything that you have kept is, is being created in this reality here. That's the snake serpent. You have the rabbit and the swan. Fertility. And a new reality. Again, this is just a new reality for me. Love mirrored energies there's been there's been so 
many mirrored numbers um, coming through and that's the confirmation here for me with the swans this is also divine love and pure source pure energy something is being doubled as well here with the rabbit the rabbit frequency this fertility this is being doubled i'm getting this message of someone getting twins like literally someone is going to give birth to twins twin twin i was about to say twin boys I don't know who that message is for. <sighs> wow. Okay, I'm going to stop here. You have here the sea serpent. Um, it's interesting because I feel like the sea serpent is displacing its body weight right in the water and it's pushing out this reality you see here this reality is being pushed out it's being displaced out okay and this reality right here is coming into fruition it's being reborn it's being birthed okay that's this that's this energy here and that's where the egg that repaired egg is going to sit okay right here right and it's going to birth and come into fruition in this new reality here that you're creating and that you're stepping into i feel like this hermit energy it's um i'm seeing uh, it's interesting because i mentioned to robin russ before that this is a lighthouse a lighthouse energy Something about um, recognition, a soul recognition, calling other people, calling other people to calling other people to you or calling other calling other people to themselves is what I see here with the hermit in your lantern, the light guiding other people. Helping to guide other people. To not fall susceptible to spiritual narcolepsy. To not fall susceptible to the dead energies. But to move forward into the new. To continue to move forward and take a bold step forward into the new energies. Wow, the inner eternal child is like... I haven't spoken in a really long time. I'm come out here with the bear. I've been in hibernation mode. I'm coming out. I'm coming through that portal and I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to speak. You've given me a voice, your voice. You are giving the voice of your inner child. The inner child has a voice. Let them speak. Let them be free. I'm getting this image. It's so interesting because I feel like I need to watch the Game of Thrones again for the fifth time. The whole, the entire series. <sighs> um, and I was doing, um, I was just doing a meditation and I saw the phoenix. I saw a phoenix and the phoenix was um, chained down. This is actually what I saw. Let me get the cards out. There's a black egg. Oh, there's that dragon. I saw the the phoenix in chains. Just like in Game of Thrones. When uh, Khaleesi had to chain her dragons in the dungeon. And they were chained. Because they were misbehaving. They were eating humans. Because they, they don't know any better. They're hungry. <laughs> I saw this. Eight of Swords. Look at look at where the golden egg was, right beside the phoenix. I'm telling you, and I have I have I'm here to show you what I saw in my in my meditation. Okay, so I did this meditation, and I saw these two cards. The Phoenix and the Eight of Swords. And here you have the golden egg beside the Phoenix as I'm 
as I'm digging up for this so I can explain to you what I saw. There's that egg. There's that egg that sits right there. This is the repaired egg. This is the repaired egg that sits right here. That is being protected by the sea serpent. Pushing out this reality and giving birth to, to, the, to the new one. Anyways, oh my god. So, I, I see, in my meditation, I saw, excuse me, the phoenix being chained. And so I saw these two cards in my mind's eye. So I got them out and I started meditating on them. Like, what does this mean? There is a fire inside of you that has already been reborn. There is a fire inside of you that has already been reborn. But it's been chained. It's been held back. It's been blocked. It's been hidden in the shadows. It's been waiting patiently. It's been waiting to come out of hibernation. It's been waiting to speak. It's been waiting to rise. I believe that in my meditation, the phoenix was in representation of your inner eternal child that has transformed into a phoenix, but we accidentally locked our inner eternal child away. And now we're setting the inner eternal child free. I hope you enjoyed this reading. This is what I have. I love you guys so very much. I really hope that I was able to explain everything the way that I'm seeing it. Um, I'm going to meditate more on this smooth messaging because I really feel like that's a really big piece of this inner eternal child and the energies that it's bringing forward through us and for us, um, for our softening intuition. And that is something that I'm working on. I'm always, always, always working on how can I be a better messenger? How can I improve the, the explanation of what I see and what I feel? Um, how can I do a better job? And I know you guys are so encouraging of me and you're so kind and you say you do a great job and all this stuff. And I, I really appreciate that. I know that I do the best that I can with what I have and with what I know. But there's always room for improvement and there's always room for growth. So I know that I can be better. I know that I can. I just know that I can. And so um, that's what I'm working on. My smooth messaging. How can I deliver messages in a smoother way? And so... This was just, this was very healing for me, this reading. I love you guys so much. I really, really do. Thank you for always being there for me. Um, I just love being on this journey with you guys. All right. Until next time.